The 60 to 64 year old men will be up next and every athlete in this division will be on the floor at once. So just one heat here. John Crow has a 30 point lead over Matt Bell. Tony Tursky is just eight point back of Bell for second. Bill Johnson sits in fourth place, just four points back of Tursky for the third and final spot on the podium. Every man inside the top 10 is above that 400 point mark. John Crow, the only man with more than 500 points. Events seven and eight are back-to-back -back challenges. Now these athletes have also done event number nine. That was done on competition floor number two earlier today. The first four minutes we'll have the one rep max snatch, then we'll have a minute break. Then it's the work in the middle of the left-hand part of your screen. And then in minutes 14 through 18, we'll go back to event eight and complete that with the one rep max clean. And I think the key for the first part of this event with that broken up weightlifting segment is Make sure you hit some good numbers in your snatch. Make sure you're ready to hit. Make sure to be ready for the shock of what all those wall balls felt like going into this. So you may have a plan, be ready for a plan B. Lane assignments for this first and only heat of the 60 to 64 year old men. Your overall leaders will be towards the middle of the floor. Matt Bell currently sits in second place overall with 476 points. He will be in lane number 10. And John Crow, who's coming off a win in event nine, his worst finish was 13th in event number three, but other than that, everything inside the top five, he's gonna be in lane number 13. You know, an athlete that I'm watching here, uh, Sean is gonna be Tony Tursky. He started yesterday in first place. He lost a little ground. Uh, in I think events four and five um, and now I think Tony's gonna be looking to make up those points again and they're here somewhere where he can I think he's a proficient lifter uh, I think he's gonna be good at the Metcon portion of this so again you don't have to win it but you gotta be you know top two or three in both areas if he wants to move himself back in that top position and generally speaking that's what he's done in most of the events when he does well he does really well uh, just when he isn't going to do as well, he's to make sure that he's doing a lot more damage control. So like you said, don't be at the bottom of the pack. Shoot for the more the middle of the pack on your weak spot. And there is Tony Tursky. He'll be in lane at number three. Tursky already has two event wins in the competition. Events three and five, he finished in first place. But it was a event six that really hurt him. He finished 14th place overall. Also event one outside the top ten. Finished 12th in that. four minute window to find a one rep max snatch and then after event number seven they'll have a four minute window to find a one rep max clean they will add those two lifts together and that will be your total score and it looks like he just called out to his judge 145 so it looks like tony's going to open with a 145 pound snatch that looks to be the heaviest barbell that we have out there on the floor in lane 10 Matt Bell has 135. Also in lane number 11, Paul Smale hit 145, and Tursky will hit 145 to match Smale. Some big numbers to start off with for this age. It was 60 years old, you know, 60 year old guys coming in here, starting off with 145. That's huge. Right. I did not expect to see 45s on a lot of these bars, and surprisingly, there's a lot of blue plates already on the bars. Of yeah. 150 pounds is on the bar in lane nine. That's John Simple, 155. That's John Crow in lane 13, hit 115. In lane 11, that's Paul Smale at 155. And Smale struggling through that and able to lock it out. 155 for Smale, 150 on the bar for Tony Tursky, closest to the camera, and Tursky will hit that. And that 150 actually looked a little easier than the 145 did for Tony Tursky. 
Over in lane eight, Bill Johnson has 165 pounds on the bar. He already hit 160, so he is your leader right now. Two minutes to go. One sixty five for Bill Johnson. Just unable to get under it. The long arms. Again, if you can clean up that form a little bit, keep those hips down, keep that chest up. Instead Paul's, of bending over and making it all be a, a low back move. Paul Smale at one sixty loses it forward. Trying to match Bill Johnson. You start you saw Bill's hip kind of fly up. You got nothing left but your back and your arms uh, to lift that bar with. Overall leader John Crow just hit 130. He's in the upper right hand part of your screen. Bill Johnson lining up for another attempt at 167. Now one minute to go. Oh, oh. so much better. Will much have better. Uh, no rep because he stepped over the line. Oh. He's got to stay in his lane. That's unfortunate for Bill, but those are the rules and it's a, a safety reason. It's Smale misses 160, and he's going to call it, and Johnson's going to go for it one more time, and not able to get it. So Johnson had a much better position that first time, just stepped out. You know, it's one thing that I don't see a lot of these guys doing is that you know you're not allowed to step forward. Move the barbell That's back. That's what I was thinking. Move the barbell back. Don't get up on that line. Yeah. Take your start position. Oh, Hold it yeah. back. There it is. He's going to hit it. But he gets it that time. 165, and that's going to be the best lift that we have seen. So he will have the lead going into the second part of event number eight. But up next, event number seven after that one minute reset. Where there's a will, there's a way. Look at you. All day long. But I didn't mean a Will Ferrell. <laughs> I did not mean an anchor man. But well, you should have. <laughs> Here is the event that the men will be facing next. It's right there in the middle of the graphic on the left side of your screen. We're going to start with the 10 toes of bar, then the 20 wall balls with the 20 pound ball. And then single unders with the one pound chronos rope. The movement on the pull up bar will change each round. The wall balls and the single unders remain the same. And I really think for these guys, it's going to come down to the wall balls. I just don't know if there's enough. You know, the single unders aren't going to affect them enough. It's there, it's a nuisance, but I think this is really for these guys going to come down to those uh, wall ball tops. The first and only heat. In event number seven for the 60 to 64 year old men. Very impressive to see how well all of these men are doing their kipping turns. Oh ball. yeah. John Crow, the overall leader, one of the first men to the first set of wall balls. 20 reps at 20 pounds to the 10 foot target. And I'm telling you. Go ahead, Bill. I was gonna say, I'll tell you what, all these athletes are overshooting that 10 foot mark. You guys, bring it on down. You got a lot of reps in here that you don't need to do 10-6, 10, 10 foot. A lot of that is habit. Some people shoot to get above a line when you're not used to having a target. You keep thinking, I gotta get to the top of this thing. <laughs> just gotta hit it. Hit the target, man, the bullseye. It's right there for you. Well, there's probably a little adrenaline flowing right now too. So my guess is, Round two, they're not going to be overshooting. <laughs> In lane seven, Randy Lane is on to the single unders. John Crow, the overall leader, is there as well, as is John Stimple and Matt Bell. And you see Tony Randy Tursky is done with his single unders. He's back to the pull-up bar for the second time.
10 pull-ups to complete here, then back two to wall ball for a set of 20. And that's a big set, look at that. Goes unbroken. Woo! That was an all the way all right. set. He's going, for over the, he's going for the fences right now. Yeah. He wants that home run again. Exactly. Jersey coming in in third place overall with 468 points. He's only eight points back with Matt Bell for seconds. Well, and we talked about earlier, you know, Tony doesn't need to win either of these events. He just needs to do really well. As far as I can tell, he might have had third in that snatch event. If he finishes strong here and he can hold on on the clean, it's going to help move him back up into second or first position. Well, so far, the guys that are behind him, they don't have anything close to the bar work that he's able to do. So it's all about the wall ball. He obviously had no problem with the double unders. And that was the first break even there on the wall ball. So he's well ahead of John Crow, who's right behind him. And Tursky is also in front of Matt Bell, the guy immediately in front of him in the overall standings. Tursky is done with his second set of wall balls. He'll move on to the rope as well overall leader, John Crow. 30 single unders here, then back to the pull-up bar for 10 chest of bar pull-ups. Wow, now the, di the difference between those two, John Crow was unbroken on the wall balls, whereas Tony took a break on the wall balls, but Tony's much faster on the chest of our pull-ups, so I think he's still gonna be able to push that limit, and it's gonna come down to that jump rope. The two of them back to the pull-up bar at the same time, now 10 chest of bars. Oh, and that's eating into John Crow's time. Going to get that to break, unless he, what he's trying to do is hoping that he can take small sets and not have to far, not have to fall as far. Whereas Tursky's already done with half of his chest of bar pull-ups, this is a great spot for Tony to just pull ahead. Here he goes to the wall ball. Tim Fox and Bruce McLaughlin are also on to the chest of bar pull-ups. And now the third and final set of wall balls for Tony Tursky. John Crow has one rep remaining on his chest of bars. He looks to stay in second place behind Tony Tursky. Tursky's on the left on the wall ball. Crow is on the right. He's going to start his third and final set of 20 wall balls. 20 pounds to a 10-foot target. So that's Tony's second break on the set of wall balls. Obviously, he's well ahead in the wall balls over John Crow. But so far, John's been able to go unbroken or has gone unbroken the last two sets. So he's hoping to really make up some time here by going unbroken again, which he didn't do. Way to go, Bill. Oh. <laughs> Called him out. Did you catch? Did you have a little catch of the Annie Jinx? I think <laughs> I did. You're rubbing off on me. And now Tursky to the rope for the final time. 30 single unders. He's still ahead of John Crow. So Tursky looking to gain ground on both Matt Bell and John Crow in the overall standings. He'll get 100 points for the event win. And John Crow, if he can finish in second, will get 94. So he only will surrender six points to Tursky in this event. Tursky's done. He is in. And he will have the event win. 532 unofficially. Great job from Tony Tursky. Most important is that Matt Bell, the gentleman that's in front of him, is still working on his wall balls. A very good chance at... Tony Tursky could pull ahead of Matt Bell after these next two events. John Crow looking to be the second man across the finish line. He's got plenty of time. But Crow is in. 6.05 unofficially for Crow. Second place finish and 94 points. Now here comes Matt Bell in lane 10 and down in lane 4, Tim Fox is on the rope as well that's matt bell second place overall coming into the event tim fox in lane four is done for taking a break on his set of single unders. bell is in so he's going to finish third which means that tursky's going to pick up 12 points on him and tursky only trailed him by eight but remember we still have to settle event number eight
as Boss Vale is in. Great beams came across. Tim Fox is done with his single letters. He's going back to the pull-up bar for his chest of bar pull. It's one minute to go here before we hit the eight-minute time gap. Simple is in. It's Randy Lane who just came across. And Bill Johnston. Less than 30 to go. That's Ronald Bernardi. Bernardi is done, and he'll get in with seconds to spare. And now a one minute reset, and we will get back to event number eight instead of the one rep max snatch. Now we are moving to the one rep max clean, and it was Bill Johnson at 165 pounds who had the top lift. Tony Turski wins event seven. Now looking to decrease the gap between himself and John Crow for the top spot of the overall standings by even more. Turski at 532.07 seconds gets his third event win of the competition. John Crow will finish second, and Matt Bell is in third as Tony Turski picks up 12 points on Bell and right now is ahead of him in the overall standings pending what happens here in event number eight. Well, what's going to be really interesting is Turski and Bell have the same opening weight on the snatch. So Turski made some points up on that Metcon portion, but now it's going to come down to this clean to see who can really throw around the most weight after all those wall balls. Well, don't forget, Tony got a little more rest at the end of that workout. 185 for Turski, his right hand oh. split, but still able to save the lift. Meanwhile, John Crow, your overall leader, had a lift of 155. That was good. Paul Smale also just hit 185. Smale is in the middle of the floor, unloading his bar there in the dark top and camouflage shorts. Turski jumping up to 205 pounds. But these two events could really help out Tony Turski. You can see uh, Bill Johnston, who won that snatch portion, he just rotated his bar. He's got 205 pounds on his barbell. Here's John Crow at 175, and he will make that. 195 is good for Johnston. But judging by the weight that was on there, that looked like more than 195. That should have been 205. There's nowhere I can do math, Sean, except for on a barbell. <laughs> 195 on the bar for Matt Bell, and he will make that. So that's big for him. Tony Tursky is going to need to make that lift. It's, I believe 205 is what he has on the bar. One ninety-five is on the bar in lane eighteen for David Hoffman. And he won't be able to get under that. Bill Johnson has hit his lift at two fifteen. It doesn't matter what he hit on the last lift. <laughs> Because he hit more on this one. Like I said, I couldn't count the woman's weight. I couldn't count the John Crow the on the right side of your screen will make 190. While John Stimple hit 195. Tony Turski has 225 pounds on the barbell. And doesn't seem like he's in any hurry to make an attempt here. 
Paul Smale just made 195. 220 for Bill Johnston. And there are some numbers going up. And this is a gamble that Tursky's taking. He's trying to get as much rest as possible. He's got his fans over there. He's kind of playing around with them a little bit. Knowing that he's into his last minute, he's got to save it all up. The problem is, if he misses, you don't have a whole lot of reaction time. So I would, I hope he goes at the 32nd mark to at least try to get one more if there's a miss. With 40 seconds to go, Tursky at 225. And he will oh, almost Oh, he it. had like that one. He's got time, though, just like you said, Bill. The 30 he's seconds left. He needs to rock that bar back into his throat, shoot those elbows up, and he can stand that up. This is a huge lift for him right now because Bell and Crow are doing some good work on their own. Oh, oh, oh. Makes the second attempt count. At the buzzer. Talking about a home run hit. My goodness. And that's exactly what he needed to do. Even that one that he missed, he had that. He was still moving up, and he just decided to put it down. So great way to roll the dice. And what a great way to finish that. And love the confidence. I'm giving credit to his, his cheery section here. And Look at them all. They're green, <laughs> green shirts. One more look at the second attempt here for Tony Tursky. Lots of power. Look at that. His arms are even straighter, so it really enabled his hips to do the work. Opened up those grip, those hands to let that shoulder just sit on the or the bar sit on the shoulders. Beautiful lift and way to execute when he needed to. Definitely. I well, love it too. The way he grabs the bar, I'm like, oh, he's gonna set up. Oh no, the bar's already Oh, it's set up. already going. There is no setup. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have to wait to see how those scores shake out. But we do know Tony Tursky won event seven, was able to leapfrog Matt Bell for second place in the process. It depends on what Matt Bell did in that event, but Tursky looking to stay in second after event number eight. As we move on to the 55 to 59 year old men,